as a salty and nerdy crafter, I can be pretty critical. Useless piece of junk, waste of money, absolute scam. Even though I am that way, I'm not exactly the most organized either. Such as my crafting desk, it's never in order. Or after I use craft kits, I don't know where to put them, so they're all over the floor. And the way I write my notes, well, let's just say I'm still stuck in the 1800s. Who still uses a pen nowadays? You know how I always complain I never get sponsors because, you know, salty crafters too harsh? Well, today we have a brave person. It's not, it's not a threat! Police is not a threat! Today's video is sponsored by the awesome people of Chromebook, also known as Google. So a huge thank you to the people at Google and to you guys, my subscribers, for being so supportive for me having sponsors and not getting salty about it. But even if you're salty, I love you. Alright, so we've established the fact that I am so not organized. This reverse color challenge does require some kind of organization so that I can know exactly what colors I want to use and then reverse them. In case you're wondering what the reverse color challenge is, this is the normal color wheel and this is the reversed color wheel. If I want to make trees and these are the colors for trees, I actually have to use purples. So in my sketch, I'm going to be using, you know, greens, but then in my actual crafting, I'm going to be using purples. I have no idea what the end result is going to look like, but you guys will be seeing it reversed constantly throughout the video to see the actual color of this, whereas I'm going to be crafting with this. When I was contacted to review a Chromebook, I definitely selected one that would be beneficial to my needs. Just so that what I'm talking to you guys about is genuine and things I'm actually going to use. So you will probably see me showing this to you guys later on in different videos because I'll be sketching on them to show you the ideas that I'm going to be using for crafts. So I chose the Samsung Pro and the reason I chose this is because... Look at that. The stylus is in there. I contacted him and said, where's the pen? I can't find it. Where's the stylus? I can't find it. Jackie's a numbnut. I know many of you are going to ask me, Jackie, what app are you using? I'll be using the Sketchbook app, which is an absolutely delicious, if I may say so myself. And it does have pressure sensitivity, and there's Wacom technology on the Samsung Pro Chromebook. What is that insanity? Wacom tech on this Chromebook. The fact that I have this with me now and I can carry it, draw my designs, research and all in one spot without having to run for paper is yes please. So even though it might seem a little inconvenient to draw on it as a normal computer like this, you can also draw on it like this, like that, like that, And like this if you choose. I want to get into the sketch. Remember, I'm not doing a full drawing, just a little bit of a sketch because in the past, here's what my sketching for my projects used to look like. Another feature that I really like, and then I'm gonna get drawing, I promise, where you can actually time-lapse screen record what you're drawing. So we're going to switch onto that and you're going to see me do the rough sketch of what I want with the actual colors because now I have colors and it's so much faster. And here we go. So for the drawing, the idea I wanted to have behind it is to make some things recognizable and iconic because when we're going to be crafting it in reverse color, it's going to mess with our brains. We'll be like, that's not the color, guys, but I gotta make it this color, which honestly messed me up so bad. I, I just couldn't think of the colors straight anymore, and I think part ways through as I was crafting, I started giving up, but we'll get to that once I start crafting. So I did include a turtle duck, Pikachu, and a Kudama. So if you know where these characters are from, let me know in the comment section below. Let's see how geeky you guys are. So yeah, this is traditionally how I would have drawn this concept, which is just so wordy and just so cluttered. And it just feels like having those colors make it so much easier for me to know what I should do because this challenge, oh my god. I know I could have colored it in the reverse color, but what kind of challenge would that be? Because, y y you know, I like to make things easier for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go into my polymer clay collection and try and pick out the right colors so that only you will see the result of the actual reverse I'm only going to see them at the end. All right, Jackie, let's 
go check out the colors. Take a nap it. So my greens are going to be kind of magenta-y purple. Got it. My purples are greens. Got it. These colors don't look right, <laughs> but uh, let's do it. Alright, to start off, there are a couple of mistakes that I did make. Firstly, why did I take the Fimo Kids? I did not expect it to be this soft and sticky for the soil, that blue one. Oh my god, that, that was so hard to work with. I, I didn't expect, I really didn't expect it to be that soft. So if I did say that Fimo Soft was good, I retract it. It's too much like bubblegum. The second mistake I did is why the heck did I choose to make an environment this tiny for such a big challenge? I, I think. I really need to get out of the habit of making really tiny things and start working with medium-sized things because that was hard. Thank the crafting gods that I actually drew this piece with color beforehand. Because this is a color challenge, it is so confusing. Oh my god, god it's, seriously, I, it's so confusing because you know what color something is supposed to be, but I kept looking back and forth on the chart to make sure that I was doing the right opposite color because it's pretty sensitive. I, I know I'm not that far in, but I'm starting to have serious doubts on the tree and the soil. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm starting to panic. So brown is a dark orange. And in order for me to have a dark orange, I need to make a light. Hang on, where are we? I'm so, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Hang on, let me rethink this. So orange is between. So in order to get the brown, I need a reddish orange. So it means since I'm doing in reverse color, it has to be an in-between of these two colors. Which I think is this? Uh, uh. You guys are seeing it. I have no idea. I'm, I'm only going to be seeing it as I'm doing the, the voiceover completely at the end. So let's let's just keep going and, and see where it's gonna go. But I want you to know my genuine reaction right now is I am full of doubt. One thing to remember is that light colors are dark and dark colors are light. I thought that the fire was in the right order, but I'm supposed to have the red at the bottom, which means the light color because that means it's darker and trust me guys, I really challenge you to do this. I really do. If you do, hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram and I will feature you in my at the end of my next video and show off your projects and make sure you show side by side the actual reverse color and the real color. I'm really curious to see, so that, that's a challenge I'm extending to you guys. The first time I saw this craft challenge was done by my friend Catvok. Now, as an artist, it's a lot easier to control shadows and highlights, but as a crafter, you have no say where the light will go after you're done crafting. So there's, there are going to be shadows and crevices, which means the crevices that are supposed to be dark are actually light. You see what I'm saying here? Working on this challenge in 3D is way more challenging and you have less control than if you were working on it as a drawing. I've completely relinquished control. I'm like, at this point, it really has to do with your tones of the blues and they'll give you different colors and then the different tones of our yellows and greens, and, oh, it, it's so delicate. I'm not gonna think about it anymore. I'm just gonna, right now, we're gonna bake it for about half an hour, and then we're going to put the orange resin, which I know orange is gonna give me blue. That that I've settled, that, that I've understood. To make the water part, I'm using UV resin. The difference between UV resin and epoxy resin is that UV resin hardens much faster with a UV light, or if you leave it on your windowsill for about half an hour. So it kind of turns like a plastic. The idea is pretty simple, just lay down your resin, harden it, lay down your resin, harden it, until you have the level that you want.
All right, now for the reveal for me. You guys have seen snippets here and there. I took a picture, ready to select it, and I already have the filter as negative already set. I downloaded an app. I have no idea if it works. Hopefully it does. So here we go. This is it as normal. And... Ooh! Oh! I think I got it! Fermi Gear! <laughs> oh my god! I think I got it. I don't know. Unless my phone is showing me completely different. I know the I know the lighting's not that great, but oh I'm joking. <coughs> I got too excited. These are the colors I was looking for. <gasps> Pikachu that looks yellow. Again, you guys will see it better on, on the screen. Imagine I'm looking at the screen after while giving the voice and be like, well, that was a fail. But for now, let me let me be happy in, in at least this app. So I did want the tent to be purple. I have the little Kodama over here. He looked so weird with the reverse colors because I know it from the anime and then seeing it in the reverse crawls, I was like, did, did I mess up somewhere? And then, nope, look at it. It still looks pretty cool. And the moss on the log looks so awesome. And then the moss over here looks really neat too. I I'm really curious to see it on the actual screen. So that's, I think that's gonna make or break. I was so worried that the soil over here was going to be red. Now again, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm off, but I am so happy, look at the turtle duck. Oh my gosh. I was honestly really down while doing this. I'm like, I'm just gonna give up at this point. Even our rocks, you know, I put rocks because I'm like, the opposite of gray is gray. It's just going to be lighter or darker depending on the rock I choose. Yes. And, and I mean, just look at it here. This, as it is, right now, looks like it's straight out of Planet Namek. Maybe that's what they did on Planet Namek. You guys will definitely have seen whether or not I succeeded truly on the editing program. If I did, let me know. Make sure that you vote in the iCart section, because that, I think, is going to um, dictate whether or not I have to redo this. Hey, before we continue, come here. Come here. Come closer. Stop. Stay there. Before we continue, I want to give you a Salty Crafter style review of the Chromebook. I know you guys wouldn't trust me otherwise, so I want to make sure that I have the list of pros and cons. Let's start with the pros first, otherwise the cons wouldn't make sense because you guys are not familiar with this product. With this Chromebook, I actually was able to save time. I had a live stream last week and I didn't have to prep anything. The camera was right there and I was just able to press live and there we are. Can you find your comment? Were you there? I don't know why they don't write it anywhere, but this is a big deal. There is 2000 pressure sensitivity points on this Chromebook. I don't know if it's on the Chromebook itself or the pencil or stylus. So you can actually get a from a fine line to a thicker line. You can get more flow and less flow as you can see on this program. So there, there's a lot of versatility in this. Totally away from the previous Pro, not only do we get 2000 pressure sensitivity points, but the screen is made with Wacom technology. If you don't know Wacom, uh, it's a professional tablet that people draw on. It's foldable, that's pretty cool. I, I don't need to say more. You can fold it in so many ways to make it convenient for whatever position you wanna sit down or, or lay down. The next Pro, Oh my god, the sketchbook app. There are so many. I download quite a few apps just to kind of test them out. On this computer, we get it for free and we can draw directly on, on the screen. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Like, I, I am looking forward to improving my art by just carrying this thing with me to my room and, and, and just doodling on it. And you can make it so that it's stylus mode only. So if you put your hand on it, it's not going to detect it. But you can definitely press, rotate, make it bigger, make it smaller, get into those little nooks and crannies. I am absolutely in love with this app and the compatibility it has with the stylus and pressure sensitivity. Because we have the sketchbook app, it makes this tablet, computer, Chromebook, Samsung, Pro, <laughs> I'm listing it all. It actually makes it a super bargain because if you're looking for a tablet that size to draw on, it will easily cost you, the Chromebook is actually thinking ahead of its time. So right now it has two USB-C ports, one on either side of the actual computer, which also acts not just as a USB-C port, but you can also use it as your charger. I finally don't need paper, guys. There's an app on there that I could use. I know there's some on your phones too. I don't need paper like I've been doing for the last 
couple of months. The other app that I've fallen absolutely in love with for a person, I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh my god, what's, what's wrong with me? But I, I seem to fall in love with these apps that are pretty basic and I'm sure anyone could use it. Google Keep has all these little checklists because I am easily distracted. So having this app and the feature on it to have a checklist makes it so much easier for me. I, I have never been excited about a sponsorship before because I keep refusing them because the products are pretty poopy. But this one I was so excited about and even the person who contacted me is like, I really like your enthusiasm. Well, it's been a while since I've had a product that I'm like in love with. I think Salty Crafter is absolutely in love with this product because there are way more pros than cons, but I will tell you about the cons in not too long. I'm a klutz. That, it, that goes without saying, Jackie. So the fact that as soon as you turn the tablet around, the tablet computer around, disables the keyboard. So I'm not going to accidentally type anything. Dumb. Let's go with the cons. Number one, USB-C. It's not as popular. Most phones, Androids nowadays have a USB-C charger. So that's not an issue, but when it comes to technology, most of us still use USB keys. So the fact that this laptop computer, the Chromebook, has a USB, two USB-C ports, you need to buy a converter to use your current devices. For me, it's not an issue because I had one anyways, but I think if I were to make a suggestion, include a converter in that box. As I was live streaming, I did find it interesting that I was craving a second camera on the other side. It would have been really neat to be able to switch the camera to the front facing camera so that that way people can see my, you know, my desk. So if I wanted to craft at the same time, I could do that. So I think for me, that would have made this product like godly. And the third con, maybe that's just a preference. I would have to say a lock screen because I am a klutz. And when I had the tablet flipped over and I was grabbing it to move somewhere else, my, my sausage fingers touched everything. And then I opened all these different tabs and all these different apps. Look at, look, look at that, I'm just doing like witch fingers. One last con. And for me, that would be the app store is not fully ready yet for a Chrome OS, well, a Google OS. So the operating system is different than Android and Apple systems. So so far, there are quite a few apps and they list them all on their websites, but I'm pretty sure more apps are going to come out in the future. So this is going to have to be a temporary con until more stuff comes out, just so you know. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and thank you so much for the awesome people, you know, from Chromebook Google. Thank you for sponsoring me. I really appreciate it. And make sure you guys check the links down below. I'll leave all the specs, even the specs that they didn't include, which are so important, I think, for, for us crafters makes a huge difference. If you want to watch another crafting video challenge, make sure you click up here. And if you want to watch a salty review, click down here.